Hello everyone, welcome to day 5 of 30 days of iPhone programming tutorials. Now today we'll be learning about tags, which are basically helpful when you're trying to deal with multiple objects and you don't want to create separate uh, instances for each object. So this is useful when you want to do like more than 10 objects on the screen at a time or a bunch of different things so you don't have to make uh, separate instances, so you don't have to clear each one individually. Um, so go ahead and create a new project in Xcode. I'm just going to call this tags. Go ahead and create and head into viewcontroller.h. We're going to add an IB action and we're going to call this action. And we're just going to leave the ID sender there. And then go into the viewcontroller.xib. Go ahead and drag in a button. I'm going to call this action. And then we want to attach that to the action, the received action we created earlier. Touch them inside is fine. And go ahead into the viewcontroller.m. And in the viewed load method, we're going to add a for loop. If you don't know what this is, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube, but it basically just lets you um, repeat a certain action a certain number of times. So we're going to start with int x equals zero. And we're going to, the increment we're going to increase it by is one. So every, after this, loop runs once, x will be 0, and then it'll be 1, and then it'll be 2, and then it'll be 3, and uh, we're gonna, the condition we're going to meet is x is less than or equal to 10. So this will run 10 times, um, and it'll run whatever is in this statement 10 times. That's all you really need to know about the for loop. Um, so we're going to do ui image view, so our image is equal to ui image view lock. Um, init with image, UI image, um, and then we're going to do image named. I have an image already. You can use whatever image you want. doesn't really matter. I'm just going to drag it in. And that's fine. Now we're going to do... Uh, we're going to set it up with some random coordinates just so we can distinguish, so random x will be arc for random, and because the x values are 320, the iPhone dimensions is going to be 320, and then the y values are going to be 480, so for random y, we're going to do 480, uh, so this will pick a random number between 0 and 140. So now we're going to want to set the coordinates of the image to the points we just generated. So CG point make, point make, uh, and we'll do random x and random y. And then as the final step, we're going to do self.view, add subview image. So this should add 10 images to our simulator, and let's see what that gets us. And there we go, and if we run it again, it'll give us 10 totally new locations, um, and it works just as expected. Now, this is where the part we're using tags can be a lot more useful. So if we sign a tag to this image, image.tag is equal to 101. Now we can identify all of these images by that number. So if we wanted to do, if we wanted to do some sort of action using that, um, implement the IB action we created earlier. So what we're trying to avoid with um, using this code is doing something like this where we'd have to do IB outlet um, UI image view uh, start image one. Now if we wanted to produce this same result that we have in the simulator we would have to do this code ten times. And that's ten declarations of UI image views that we really don't need to do and it's not the most optimized way of doing it. And Using tags is honestly a lot easier as well. So in the action section, go into make a for loop. Uh, we're not going to be using the traditional format for a for loop for this one. So UI image view star image in self.view subviews. And then for the code, we're going to do if image dot tag is equal to 101. So this will identify the tag because we have the same tag here. 
it'll know, um, it'll identify the images we added, and then you can do something like uh, self, or we're going to do image remove from super view. So this will remove all of the images that we have on the screen. So if we run it again, now if we press action, it removes all of the images. So that's just one way of identifying um, all those images and being able to remove all of them instead of having to do 10 different declarations of all those images. So you can apply all sorts of different actions to the images. That's just one example. Um, if you want to do something else as well, uh, you can also assign tags from the simulator. So if I click on this button and scroll down, you can see the tag section. If I have this tag as four and save that, uh, and then go back in here if I do because we have the ID sender attached to it It can actually find the button using the sender. So I'm just gonna say UI button start button is equal to UI button uh, Sender and then using this we can do if button dot, uh, Tag is equal to we set it to four. So if it's equal to four then we will say NS log at quotes, we're just do some print some random numbers. Um, we need to do equals equals four. So now, if we press that button, we should get that output printed in the console, and we do get that output. Now that's another way of distinguishing between different buttons. So you can have multiple different buttons with multiple different um, tags, and you can perform different actions based on what tag they have. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. The source code for this project, as well as the code for all my other iPhone SDK tutorials, can be found on xcode.imanicrispy.com.